Ladies and gentlemen, and my friend Timmy, today's topic is so futuristic. Even my neighbor Bob tried to warn me it's a government trap. You see, Bob believes that robots delivering your parcels are just a Trojan horse for artificial intelligence. Surveillance. The robots are coming. And this time they've got wheels and legs. That's right. While Timmy's still trying to teach his garden hose to coil itself, the United Kingdom's biggest delivery company, Every, has teamed up with the Swiss wizards at Rivar to send out bots that can climb stairs, hop curbs, and probably outdance half the contestants on Strictly Come Dancing. Before we get too deep into the artificial intelligence rabbit hole, make sure you hit that subscribe button like it owes you money. Trust me, the robots are watching and they judge you based on your algorithmic loyalty. Now, on to the main event. Let's talk serious. The United Kingdom's delivery giant Every teamed up with a Swiss robotics company called River to tackle the dreaded last 100 yard problem. Basically, the walk from the van to your front door. And let me tell you, if you've ever seen a delivery guy try to juggle six Amazon boxes while dodging garden gnomes and loose paving stones, you'd know that's no small feat. So they've deployed this new gizmo, half dog, half rollerblade, all ambition. It's a wheeled legged robot. Yes, you heard right. It walks, it rolls, and according to my friend Timmy, it sachets like his ex-wife when she took the television. This robot isn't just a gimmick, it's designed to handle real-world nonsense. Curbs, steps, gravel, even your aunt's poorly maintained driveway that looks like a medieval battlefield. The bot isn't replacing drivers, it's their sidekick. Think Batman and Robin. Only Robin is a robot with wheels, and Batman is a courier with a slipped disc and a nicotine patch. They've started testing it in Barnsley, South Yorkshire, which, let's be honest, sounds like the perfect place to unleash a robot that might get attacked by a rogue sheep. Now, the idea is simple. Automate the hard bit, reduce driver burnout, and maybe, just maybe, deliver the parcel to your actual door instead of near the third bush under the suspicious pigeon. And I've got to admit, I like it. I think this could work. Especially since Timmy once tried to deliver a birthday cake using a hoverboard and a leaf blower. The cake is still missing. Technically speaking, the robot blends artificial intelligence with mechanical limbs and wheels like someone put Boston Dynamics in a blender and added a splash of Swiss precision. It's autonomous, data-fed, and part of River's ambitious plan to make one person command 1,000 robots like some kind of logistics warlord. Founded in 2024 by ETH Zurich graduates, because of course it was RER plans to roll out over one million of these robots. That's right, one million. That's one million chances for Timmy to ask if they like jazz. I can barely coordinate one Timmy. Timmy? But here's the kicker. The robots won't replace delivery drivers. No, they're more like metal sidekicks, helping out with the heavy lifting, literally. So next time you see your Ivory guy smiling, it's not because of your tip, it's because he doesn't have to haul your 80-pound package of fitness equipment up the stairs anymore. And don't think this is just a niche gadget for giggles. Every moves over 800 million parcels a year, working with everyone from big box retailers to that weird second-hand platform where Timmy sells his art. They've got 8,000 employees, 2,000 couriers, and more out-of-home locations than Timmy has half-finished home improvement projects. Ladies and gentlemen, the link to the official site and all the juicy technical details is in the description below. And if you like what we do here, consider becoming a channel sponsor for just one dollar. You can help us keep the lights on, keep Timmy away from the comment section, and maybe even get Bob a new bunker door. Because let's face it, between robots, conspiracies, and Timmy trying to teach artificial intelligence how to dance, we've got our hands full. See you in the next one.